What I enjoy most about 3D animator is that you can take uh, a character, you build it up, and you can make it move around, and you can give, you can basically breathe life into a little character. Or you can take a car, you can make it explode. There's so much fun happening in this industry, and you're always busy with something new. It's never monotonous, it's never the same. Every day is a different challenge, a new job. It's always fun doing this. I am uh, Albertus Brudenstein, and I'm a 3D animator. We do all the visual effects that you see in film and video, like dinosaurs running around on the screen, cars exploding, all that exciting stuff you see in movies. That's what a 3D animator do. The way I got involved in 3D is uh, when I was a little boy, I watched Jurassic Park and I was totally blown away by the realism of the dinosaurs running around on the screen. And I remember I walked out of the cinema and I said to myself, this is what I want to do one day. <laughs> On a day-to-day -day basis, I will come in and I will take the storyboards that's been given to me uh, from the client and I will either model the, the, um, the character or whatever we're working on and then after I've modeled it, I'll texture the, the model and then I'll start to animate it make, it, make it move around and then the client will come in every now and then and they'll approve what we're doing and then they'll give us direction where we must take the model and where they want the visual effects to go. The type of person to suit this job must be a little bit mad <laughs> because the hours are very long but it's a fun creative job so it must be someone that's very outgoing that likes to bond with other people and, and you bounce ideas off each other so it must be a, a very outgoing uh, person and obviously you need to be very creative as well and also a problem solver because there's a lot of things that you run into that you need to find out creative solutions how to get around it. The training you need to become a 3D animator is basically you need to train yourself in a 3D package um, and obviously the best way is to go to a college where they, um, where they teach you packages and fundamentals of animation and that kind of stuff. The challenging thing about the animator is the software changes the whole time. There's a whole time new technologies that, that come out and um, there's always a client who always have very specific needs for example, to create water and hair is a very difficult thing to create. There's not really programs written for it, so you have to think out creative solutions to make it work. The best advice for, for me for a young animator is to remember that it's a collaborative art and, it's, uh, and you need to be very, very good at what you do and never show people your second best. Always give them your best work. <laughs>